Can't seem to break these little cold snaps every week. I look forward to the week and I think this is gonna be it after today where pretty much every night is in the 50s. That is when fishing gets incredible. Until then though, it's kind of spotty. Going to meet up with Lunkers TV right now. So I hope you like guns, because we're about to go shoot some. Uh, if you don't, just stick around for a minute and uh, maybe you'll learn something. One mile of greatness. Wow. So we can just go full bore right here, huh? Yeah, we're going full bore. There's, there's no holding back. <laughs> Full freedom and gun smoke. Yeah, there's a sunrise, by the way. Sunrises, gun smoke. Oh. Can't beat it. Can it be revealed? What's that? No, I haven't showed anybody. Yeah, just a little closer. Just right out. Yeah, just right there. Okay. Now point at it. <laughs> that right there is a mystery. It's a mystery thing. You can go check out his channel for uh, Dude, for I, that. But I that's... Even, no one knows about. It. It was a little blurred out. That's a bass wagon, is what that is. God, it's so, cold out. I know. Okie dokie, y'all. I'm waiting on Brandon. Oh, I didn't wreck it. Hey. Sounds like it works. Started out right. What's up, guys? Sorry, right, I ran behind, man. I forgot your gun at the store. Yeah, I need that. That's the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> The major weaponry has arrived. That's what I'm talking about. Look at these fine selections. Oh. And Lunkers just picked up a really sweet gun from them. That is a, this is a M M24, is that what you said? That is an actual sniper rifle. Like military army issue. Real deal Holyfield. I'm just chilling over here with my 1976 30-06. <laughs> All right, we gotta do a little sighting in on the uh, the new scope. Brandon's gonna help you out here, and Lunkers is gonna sight in his new sniper rifle as well. So I'll give you a little tip: your guns need to be accurate sighted in before you can accurately. Uh... <laughs> That's already happened to me once this year. So try to get this right. The one, on, the one on the left or the, the far right? Far right square. The oh yeah. Close to the ground. Right. Everyone ready? Yep. <laughs> Well, hopefully you weren't trying to hit the steel. Just to the right? Just right a little bit high. Didn't even hit the target. Uh, it's always a bad sign. It's Brandon's those little guys. No, no, one bit. adjusting yeah, me. Bad. We're good to go now. All right, going again, right? Yep. I just saw hey. The up and down was great. These link things work pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we went full dial on that one. Oh, watch it because it's like dead nuts center of the steel. Gave her, gave her a full crank. Hey, I heard steel, bottom left. Go. I can see it. All yeah. right, one more time. Swanging. Okay. So that one was dead center, so we just got to come up like six inches. What you guys are about to witness, oh my gosh, look at that smudge. I would have thought I was holding Perix camera. You uh, fish juice the other day. <laughs> wow, that might look a little bit better. You guys are about to watch the dialness of Rackley on the 1976 30-06. Yeah, Remington, I think it's a 742. Yeah, 742. From Literally from 1976. It's a deer slayer. Deer slayer coming at you live. Or from the day before. Oh, well, this is taking a long time. Oh, what was that? Hey. Did you just give it a full send on the wrong target? Hey. No. <laughs> it, must, it must have been the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it did go down. It went down to the left. So you jerked the trigger. I think it was just... That was me. It would be okay. It was me. I'm not a pro like you guys. I don't know if that's the case. But should I send one more? You gotta yeah. send it. Give it a zoom. There it is. Oh, See? That's we're touching better. red. Yeah. Red means dead. <laughs> no buck will survive this hunting season. Alrighty then. Oh, um, big thanks shit. to Brandon for helping me get that one sighted in quickly. That was that was quick. Dude, Brandon, on now, the bottom uh, of this, look at this. Just get that, that, that M24 going. Uh, the, oh, you're digging. Oh, okay, good ding. Oh. <laughs> Reunited. Am I excited? Yeah. No, hey, uh, no. This is, this no. is a big deal. Reunited. Does he not have a bad? 
Because remember, we made adjustments here. Yeah, that was down to the adjustments. And we finalized, and we're pretty pretty confident on that. That's that's good. That barrel will warm hey. up, though. It'll be good. I feel like uh, it's like, you know, you know, high school scores, and then we're over <laughs> here in, like, preschool <laughs> finger painting. That's, there's different where I'm at. Too. Different like, gun. Yeah. yeah. This is a different gun, I guess. Brandon's gonna shoot, shoot my gun, make sure it's still, still the proper functionality. Works. It's <laughs> <laughs> a perfect scope for that gun. That's yeah, really awesome. Go to five. Go to five. Just go to five. Pull that right edge of that center target at the top of it. That's it. I flinched like crazy. <laughs> but hey, this this is a pretty accurate little gun. <laughs> That's it. It's time for all their dragons, dragons to go back in their cage. Till the next time. All right, well, just getting back from the range. This isn't a gun channel. I don't go over Second Amendment and all that stuff really ever at all. I just kind of take it, take it for granted. And being out there with Rob, who was an Army sniper, and Brandon at Modern Outfitters, who was a uh, Marine Marine Corps recon sniper. It's nothing to shoot guns and talk guns and everything like that with him. But I was thinking, I was like, for the average viewer that maybe you've never even been to this channel or maybe you're not even from the United States. Pretty much something we take advantage of. Uh, we don't really think about too much. So hopefully everyone knows this. I'm just gonna reiterate it just for people that, that don't know. The reason it is so important, it's not for hunting. It has nothing to do with, with hunting. That's as outdoorsmen, we all enjoy our right to, to own hunting rifles like this. The real reason the Second Amendment exists is to protect uh, yourself and protect your fellow man, protect your fellow citizen. A couple hundred years ago we fought for our independence from a tyrannical government using firearms, using these things right here. So that's why our forefathers thought that was so important and we put that in there in case we ever had to come to that again, everyone would be armed. So I think it's important. I just want to reiterate that. Second Amendment's not there for hunters, it's there for U.S. citizens. Protect your fellow man, protect yourself, protect your country, and um, God bless America. Hope you get a firearm, hope you uh, use it responsibly, and always respect your guns. Don't point them at nobody. That's all I got to say today. Getting off my soapbox about these guns. We're going to take a hard right turn right now to OSG. <laughs> um, because I just got back in. You went to see the, the baby people today. I went to go see the baby people. What did the baby people say about our little baby? I went to go see the baby doctor, actually. The baby love doctor. She said everything looked great. I got to see a uh, little peanut's heartbeat. Well, actually, I got to hear it and didn't get to see it. And they sent me back home with, like, books to read on... What do they give you? ...giving birth. Look at, look at what that. What do they give you these days? That entire bag is full of... You're holding a pad in your hand. What's a... <laughs> was that... Was that bad? What was that? It was just a female pad. What's a female pad? You don't know what a pad is? Do you want to open it? Do you want to know what it is? Uh, no, I feel like we're getting into some weird stuff that I don't really know. <laughs> you might not want like, to venture too far. <laughs> what's going on in there? It's kind of like reaching into a woman's purse. You're like, hmm, Never. I don't know what's in here. I'm kind of scared. I'm going to get out of here. Hey, you guys want to see a turtle that I got, Stephanie? I got that from, uh, from Mexico. It's a pretty cool from, turtle. From the Comandero. Trip. It's pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet turtle. Just saying. Actually, when you came home from Mexico, I was like, "What did you bring me a turtle?" And you said, "Actually, yes, I did." Because she she loves turtles. That's FYI, I awesome. guarantee you, you're gonna get turtles in the PO box now. Once we have a PO box again. <gasps> I can get like turtle onesies. Oh. I mean, that's gender neutral. What are we gonna do for our gender reveal video when we find find out? I think the fishing freaks want to see. A reveal. Maybe we'll let you decide. I was thinking kind of like filling something up with uh, some colored powder, you know, pink or blue powder, and then I throw like a lure at it and it freaking explodes. Just like, whoosh, and then I come out of the mist and I'm like, it's gonna be a, you know. Ask them if they think it's a boy, boy or girl. 
That's a good question. I want to yeah. know. Okay, we want to go ahead and get that started. All right, I want to so. know, guys. Is it a boy or do you think it's a girl? Which one do you see us with? What is what is growing inside of OSG? <laughs> I don't really Monkey. care as long as it has a fully functioning brain, unlike yours truly. Just stuck that on me. <laughs> hey, at least it's unused. Get that off me. <laughs> Just that, touch that it. Never be on a man. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. No. It just hasn't been used. Get that thing off. <laughs> Freaking weird. <laughs> okay, never going through your stuff again. Bye. Right now, I am going through a lot of tackle that y'all sent in to me. Mm. Some really good stuff. But I think I'm going to save all that uh, for next video, guys. A um, lot of great stuff, a lot of art sent in. Just a lot of cool items. You guys are amazing. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for giving me encouragement, support every day. I'm ready for tumor battles, babies, houses, whatever's coming at me. Because you guys. And my faith in Jesus. God bless America. And I think also on the next video, we're also going to reveal um, the person that is going to come out and come fishing with me. So everyone that went to uh, into the Instagrams for me and OSG tagged us with the Make Every Cast Count posts. You guys pay attention tomorrow. Uh, there's more preparations to make. There's line to be tied. There's lures to be adjusted. There's reels to be cleaned from all the East Texas scum and grass and pollen that all comes around with the spawn. One thing's for sure though, more outdoor action here at this channel coming at you soon. Hunting, fishing, family life. We do it all right here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a very blessed day, evening, wherever you are, whatever time of day it is. I love you and I'll see you on the next one.